I've just had a homemade caramel shortbread and it was very nice. But that's not what I'm here for. That's not what you're here for. Start again. Hi, welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. In this video, I thought I'd show you my team. So far, I've only shown you teams that you could do and my kids have copied them. But in this video, I thought I'd show the team that I've actually chosen for myself and why I chose the players I did choose. And although I've only got 50 odd points at the moment, I am actually pretty happy with it. So this is my team. And as you can see, I've gone for a 5-2-3 formation. Starting off in goal, I've got Edison. Now I had Ramsdale in there for a lot of the time in pre-season, but when I'd set my team, I had money left over and I figured Edison would probably get more points in the first few weeks than Ramsdale. And I wasn't intending to play three Man City players in the other 10. I may change my mind, but that's why I was to start with. Uh, so I thought I might as well have Edison. In defense, I've got Trent, as has everyone. Cancelo, again, everyone has Cancelo. Perisic, a lot of hype about Perisic. People are expecting him to do very well. I'm aware he may start, start off slowly. And I was switching between him and Trippier in pre-season because I thought Trippier had a good chance of getting points in the first week, and he did. But the trouble is I knew I'd want Perisic in about week two, three or four. So rather than guarantee using a transfer on him, I thought I'd get him now and just accept he's probably not going to get many points the first couple of weeks. James, I, it was a bit risky getting James, I felt, because Chelsea have been poor. They've only played Everton so far, so the Tottenham game is going to be a lot more interesting. We'll see how James goes, but James still seems very attacking. He seems like a good shout. And then Robertson. So I've gone big at the back. It'd be hard to get six more players at the back, much more expensive than that. Midfield, I've got Arsenal midfielders, Martinelli and Saka. Again, just about everyone who's serious in the game has got Martinelli. Not everyone. Most people have got Martinelli. I have seen a couple of YouTubers that don't have him. And Saka, they both have a very good chance of getting lots of points the first few weeks. And up front, I've got Darwin. This is my week one team, Kane and Jesus. So my plan was have Kane week one, switch to Haaland week two. And then because I was happy with my team, I thought I'm not going to need to make any subs generally, as long as there's no injuries. I just keep switching the big players in and out and captaining them when I choose. But after seeing the first weekend games, Haaland was so much better than Kane and I am a bit nervous about Kane maybe not getting points. Tottenham may be scoring from all over the pitch. So I have now taken out Kane and put in Haaland as expected, but I'm thinking I may well keep Haaland in there. If he doesn't get injured, I just keep him. So I've gone big at the back, big at the front. The midfield, I think, is quite strong too. The obvious omission is Salah. I'm perfectly happy playing without Salah. I think Darwin for the price difference is worth it. Salah has to score 50% more than Darwin to justify the price increase if you're not going to captain him. So I figured I only need one premium player. At the moment for week two, it's Haaland. Week one, it's Kane. Uh, so I just don't need Salah. So I'm, I quite like my team. Now, although I only got, I think, 53 points so far, this season Kane could have got points I mean Tottenham won 4-1 if he'd got 12 points that wouldn't have been massive and then I'd have had 73 points so I, I kind of feel my team is generally strong enough even though I'm only ranked 50 in the I'm in the top 60% at the moment I'm outside the top 55% but I'm feeling good about my team on the bench I have Ward, Bailey, Neto and Andreas Ward's obvious Four million first choice, fine to have there. Lots of hype about Bailey and Neto. They were good in pre-season. They have got some easier fixtures at the beginning. And Andreas, 4.5 million midfielder who's playing. This is my current squad for game week two. If there's no news that I'm aware of between now and the deadline, then this is what it's going to be. So I've got Haaland in for Kane. The only decision I've really got is between whether I'm playing Perisic or Bailey or Neto. It's really between Perisic and Bailey. Bailey is expected to get more points, but currently I'm with Perisic. The reason for that is I, I kind of think which player on the bench, if they got points, would make me more sad. <laughs> and so if Perisic gets one point, Bailey gets five, but Bailey's on the bench, I think how would that make me feel? Compared to me playing Bailey, who gets two points, Perisic's on the bench and gets five, I'd be more annoyed at myself. 
So even though Perisic may only be on for some of the game, he plays for a good team, it could be a nil-nil, in which case James and Perisic could both get good points. Equally, it could be 3-3 and they get yellow cards. That's what my team is at the moment. And so the bench at the moment is in order Bailey, Neto, Andreas. So the way I play, all I'm personally going for the top 2.5% this year. Although I've got a series online saying, copy this, you'll hopefully get top 5%. And I've also got a couple of video series about set and forget teams, which a couple of my kids are following those. Personally, my goal is top 2.5%. If I do that, I should be able to win the mini league that I'm in, the one that I care about the most. If you want to make lots of transfers, make lots of transfers. It really doesn't matter. You'll make the points back as long as they're sensible transfers. Something interesting that I may be doing, or I think it's interesting, there's a remote chance that next week I'm going to play the wild card. Now, I'm very happy with my squad, but if Liverpool lose at the weekend, there's a reasonable chance, I think, that one or two of the Liverpool defenders are going to go down in price. If Perisic doesn't do well, there's a chance he'll go down in price, but I want to keep all of those. So because I'm happy with my team structure, right up to when the World Cup's going to be, hopefully there won't be too many injuries. If there are, I don't care about doing subs. I'll make subs. I may play my wild card so that any players that I've got that are going down in value I'll take out at the beginning of the week. And then before the next game week deadline, I'll bring them back in. So I'll still have the same squad, but I'd have saved myself losing that value. I will then also probably mess about with my midfielders on the bench if I think there's money to be made there. And if I finish outside the top two and a half percent, then these videos are all going to look a little bit silly. So there we go. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you my teams in the future. I have no idea if anyone's interested in this or not, but I'm aware people are sharing their teams. Okay, thanks. Bye.